I am back from the bread and butter thing. A little bit damp. It was very drizzly out there. We've got some bags of stuff. I know some bits that I saw. Other bits I'm not sure of. A little bit less on the veggie bag today, I was told. It probably wasn't even that much of the bag. They did have some fish if we wanted it, if we were pescatarian, but unfortunately we're not. But they did have extra fruit and veg on offer. So I got some onions and another four punnets of raspberries. I'm assuming I've already got raspberries in the bag. So let's have a look at what we've got. My name's Samantha. This is the channel trying to get by. And we're getting by by going to the bread and butter thing. Very, very useful. Hopefully there's one near you. Look it up online. If there's not one near you, I'm sure there's some other things available. Anyway, let's see what we've got. First thing I'm going to get out, I know Chris is going to be ecstatic about because he normally just gets Tesco's cornflakes, but absolutely loves his Kellogg's. And this is one of those 720 gram boxes. So he is going to be a happy, happy chappy. Right. Also in there, we have got some nectarines. Bag one. We have got a butter round lettuce. We have got some peaches. We have got the first of the raspberries. We have got some broccoli. I love broccoli. If you know me, you know I love broccoli. We have got some grapes. Wow. No wonder this bag was so heavy. These are as big as the courgettes I had in my garden last year. Not grown any this year because I've still got cartons, or I should say um, jars of courgette upstairs in my pantry that I have upstairs. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those, but we'll think of something. Right. I forgot to get onions on my shopping on Thursday. Good job, really. I've got a bag plus extras and another one and some loose plums and... Some potatoes. We've got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine potatoes that size. I'm not going to get them out because they're a bit dirty, so they're going to stay in the bag. Next bag, we're going to carry on with the raspberries. So, more raspberries. I'm going to make a pile there. So, so far, we are now on six raspberries. I'm thinking raspberry and nectarine and peach jam to make it last. We'll have a look at the veg bag that I got at the end, but the rest of the store cupboard, etc., and other fruit and veggies in here. We have a pack of Pucker Peace Embrace Tranquility, Spearminton Ashwagandha and Hemp Seed Oil Tea. I think that might be very nice at bedtime. I have not had these since I first went to America when I was a kid. My sister lives, one of my sisters lives in America and we used to go and visit Pop-Tarts. One of the most unhealthy possible breakfasts you can even get. I don't even know whether these are vegan, vegetarian or anything. I'm assuming they're possibly vegetarian. I will have to look them up. No, they're not even vegetarian. <gasps> Did you know there is beef gelatin in Pop-Tarts? Oh, they can go on Oleo. Somebody else can have them. That is shocking. Right, pop those aside. We have got some Scotch pancakes. We have got some brioche, which I know Chris likes. We have got a couple of bags of crisps, which are suitable for vegetarians, even though they are banging barbecue. Chris will enjoy those because we don't have crisps very often. We have got some more pancakes, scotch pancakes. Now, this bag, I didn't know what was in here. It just went straight in to the rucksack. So what have we got in here? We have got a couple of packs of apples. Very nice. Oh, Pink Lady, best kind. And again, Chris said, because he's off this coming week, don't buy bananas because, you know, I'm off and I'm not really that bothered. Well, he's got some anyway. Sometimes planning and missing things out, things fall into place. I often say this. I was saying to 
Chris that I needed some boots a while back and he's like you should get some boots get some boots and I'm like yeah I'm gonna put it out into the ether that I need boots about a week later my neighbor messaged me and said I've got some boots do you want to try them on I don't like them would you like to wear them free boots sometimes it works right next this is the veggie bag this needs to get in the freezer pretty quickly again something Chris will be very happy about I would never buy these. These are so expensive normally. Cornettos. Mint as well. And he loves mint choc chip. There we go. We have also got a little bit more broccoli and looks like peas. Yeah, snap pea type thing. There's a broccoli medley sugar snap peas or mange too. Then we have got a couple of actinels. I know Chris's mum likes those as well. Um, I didn't need to buy tomatoes, but we have got tomatoes. But I've got, I bought tomatoes because they were still on offer at 69p at Tesco's, not realizing that I'd still got some tomatoes. So I might make some kind of tomato sauce and can it when I'm canning the jam. So that is there. And last but not least, a block of mature white cheddar cheese. If you don't use cheese very often, which we don't tend to, and last bread and butter thing, we got a load of smoked cheese, which I've still got some in the freezer. You could grate this, put it on a tray, freeze it on the tray, and then put it in a bag so you've got frozen grated cheese, and it defrosts super, super quickly. You could even put it in a sandwich, and within half an hour, you could have a good cheese sandwich, and it would be defrosted well enough. Or if you're going to sprinkle it on anything, it doesn't take long to defrost at all. If you freeze it in a block, though, I find that it crumbles up quite a bit, so just be aware of that. If you want to get good slices, you could slice it first and then put it on a tray. So decide how you would use it, freeze it that way, and then you've got it all ready for you. So I'm going to come around, get the camera and show you the full haul. So starting from the top up there, all the way down, all the way down, £8.50 we would spend on this. The Kellogg's Corn Flakes alone has got to be £4.00. Won't surprise me. It's not something I even look at at the prices. The corn six cornettos is probably three pounds something. Just the raspberries from Morrison's are three for five pound. So there you go, three for five pound, three for five pound on the grapes. So three, six. That's ten pound worth of raspberries already, and we paid eight pound fifty. This is a super, super, super haul. Absolutely amazing. So this is our fourth bread and butter thing. Once a month for us is enough, I think, to collect one of these. It will spread out over ages and we will be able to use stuff by preserving it and making sure that we do things with it. I mean, the big courgette possibly might make a courgette cake for Chris, look at making a really healthy one. If not, I can just grate it, again, grate it, put it on a tray, freeze it, even if you wanted to slightly salt it beforehand so that you can get some of the moisture out of it and then put it on a tray and freeze it would be great. Or you could slice it. There's always ways to preserve all these different things. I'm Samantha. As I said before, this is the channel trying to get by. If you have not subscribed, please do so. Please hit that subscribe button. It works wonders. And if you hit the notification, it'll tell you when my next video is coming out. I will put a link for my other bread and butter hauls here if you have not seen them. And do you want some use it up recipes over there? Those will do. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.